Doom. The Dark Ages could be the series' boldest reinvention yet. It starts off with a flyover showing the thoroughly decimated medieval lands, all fantastically rendered by the latest ID tech iteration. We see the Cape Adorned Slayer preparing in a huge citadel, being equipped with the chainsaw shield and super shotgun before being shot down to the surface. Plenty of combat ensues, showing off the range of environments we can expect, as well as the aforementioned Atlan Mech and Mecha Dragon. Doom. The Dark Ages promises a bold new take on the long-running shooter's legacy. Revealed in a short but loud trailer as part of the Xbox Games Showcase, it features dragon riding, mech battles, and a much darker, more metal visual palette. But those grimdark ideas aren't the only new elements, nor are they the most significant. For in the Doom Slayer's left hand is a shield to protect him from demons, and in his right hand is a flail, the bludgeoning chain weapon of the Middle Ages. Yes, Doom's going melee. It's a medieval war against hell, said Hugo Martin, studio creative director at ID Software. You say the word medieval and you gotta have melee weapons. And so replacing the Doom Slayer's chainsaw is a flail and shield, both of which appear to be integral to the reforged combat loop. The shield, a Captain America-like buckler, has revving chainsaw teeth around the circumference and can be hurled through enemy hordes. The flail, meanwhile, can strike foes from their demonic mounts. Joining them is the Doom Slayer's own body, since his kick is as good a weapon as any mace. While guns are clearly still the key part of the toolset, it seems like close quarters combat has been upgraded from supplementary to core. That's a strong new approach for the series that loves and breathes firearms.